Here the pigs are celebrating the death of super summer. It was the last day in the hundreds. I got some cattle panel hinges so that we can make moving pigs in for breeding or out for farrowing or whatever. Moving pigs around, it'd be easier. Now we have internal gates that are cheaper than buying a normal gate. We haven't noticed Gwendolyn going back into heat, so she should be bred and we should have piglets in November, hopefully. We rigged up a new watering system with a 55 gallon barrel so that we don't have to water the pigs as much. We're gonna be out of town for Ryan's wedding, so we didn't want somebody to have to stay and water the pigs twice. We wired it to the cattle panel in the inside so that there's two faucets, one on each pin, so when we separate them, obviously, they can both get to it. Oftentimes, Derek will stop at the grocery store and get the pigs, goats, and sheep something to snack on. I had to do a taste test, plus it wouldn't fit through the fence, so I had to eat it first to give it to the goats. We'll just say that's why. My neighbor's back property that he bought recently didn't have a portion of it cut, and our neighbor Floyd was able to make that happen, and this is Derek just moving hay bales for him. As I strangely moved the camera in a circular motion, I noticed Katniss was not feeling herself today. She wasn't screaming for food and her ears were kind of down, head was down. I think she was just too freaking hot. So I gave her some baking soda to help her stomach and we gave them dry hay that day. She looked a little better the next day and now since then she's completely fine. The last batch of quail that I hatched are a few months old and they're fighting for dominance. So I'm having to separate five females to one male in these breeder pens, and then we will harvest the extra males because the males bloody each other up or they can kill each other. I'm also collecting fertile eggs so I can start another batch. a canvas tarp to protect the meat chickens from rain. The boys are about to lose their grazing pen for a few weeks. Luckily, there's not too long till we harvest the meat chickens, but they're being moved out to the farm. I've seen a lot of praying mantis lately, which is good for your garden because they eat aphids. So I don't know if I have an aphid problem or if I'm just seeing more praying mantis. I'm gonna skip around more than I usually do because Derek was gone so I couldn't lift all those meat chickens to move them right away. And do note the stock tank behind me and how low it is. Because the miracle of rain is coming. I stopped by and was gonna get some good rain clothes and I got a $5 poncho with my shorts and rain boots. Real effective. I was like, where's the little floaty thing? <gasps> Look how full it is. 
This is more than we've had in this tank before the dam broke, and this is the fullest we've ever seen that bottom stock tank. Even though it's raining, the chores must go on. Now finally, at five weeks old, these meat chickens are being moved. We finally finished the stupid drywall in both of our shops. This is where the exterior of the bathroom will be, so we're stuffing it with insulation. Ta-da! And now on to tape embedding to hide our many, many mistakes. 